Today we are going to be scanning my main batch of mule ewes. I'll tell you a little bit more about what I've done differently this year. What's a better result? I personally I'm not sure. This ain't my first rodeo. Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's the name, sheep is the game. Today we are going to be scanning my main batch of mule ewes. The mule, for anyone who is new to the channel, is a cross between the Scottish Blackface and the Blueface Leicester, with the Blueface Leicester being the ram and the Scottish Blackface being the female, which produces these incredible sheep that I love very much. Big, strong, milky sheep very kind sheep and they love to rear their lambs and give those lambs plenty of milk. Mule sheep will usually scan out around about the 180% mark plus all the way up to quite easily up to 220 plus on some really good dairy farms and fantastic bits like that. Last year I scanned at 190% there's an old video I'm not even going to link it actually because my vlogging standards are improving drastically as we go hopefully this one will be much more interesting but I was 190% last year with only one empty out of the 200 which was fantastic and I was very pleased so let's get the sheep in and I'll tell you a little bit more about what I've done differently this year and you can let me know what you think in the comments and of course if this is your first time to the channel make sure and click that subscribe button Give the video a thumbs up. The more thumbs up it gets, the video seems to do better and the channel's growing fast. And I love you guys. We'll get the drone up, get some dog action, get the sheep in, a little bit of music, and then we'll talk.
and the sheep are in just like that let's get a look at them as you can see we still have a ram running with them here now of course you can only scan really to 35 days so anything tucked within the last month isn't actually going to show up in the scanner but I put a green keel on them over a month ago and I see there's only two with green keel so that bodes well hopefully the rest have held to the tuck that they've been with they're in fantastic condition these sheep are on the vlog a lot because it's such a good facility here and it's easy for me to make a video you can actually see there's a wee a wee gem in the middle there a Charlie, pedigree Charlie U that I bought that was scanned, supposed to be lambing early it was scanned empty, I brought it back put it with my Texel Ram and it's been tupped by the Texel Ram whether it was tupped in the last month or so I'm not sure, we'll see when we scan it that's one to look out for so what have I done different this year? last year the sheep ran on good grass all the way through and didn't really have much of a flush now a flush is when the sheep go from sort of poorer grass it doesn't have to be the grass that changes you could give them some feeding, lick buckets there's various ways you can flush sheep but last year with mine they just ran on good grass all the time so what I tried to do this year was run them pretty hard right up until two weeks before the top was going out and then I moved them onto really good grass now at the time I thought I'd overdone it I thought I'd made them a little bit too lean because as I've said previously they were shown quite early they have a lot of wool it's quite deceptive I think the condition they're in I've since had them in dozing them and they're in fantastic form now so hopefully it's worked we're going to find out there's a fair few gimmers in here but I don't think it's many more than there was last year so there's no excuse there we'll get them through a scanner let's see if we can beat that 190% even if we get that I'll be happy another big difference with the sheep this year was that I had them blood tested and that showed I did not need to bolus them so none of the ewes had a mineral bolus this year whereas last year they were all bolused first sheep in always a bit nerve wracking you want to make sure you don't want to make sure but you're always worried you always have your doubts as I say but this one is a single 100% we're at so far. Let her run. Sheep 2. Is that way I can just feel how fat they are already? Single. Still at 100%. This is a, a gimmer. Sheep number three, and we have a single, three singles to start us. Four singles to start with. Five singles. Six cycles to start. It's like scanning Hill Blackie. Shut that door, mate. Man. Oh, finally, we have a twin. Seven sheep in, and we have our first twin. What I'm going to do, you've seen loads of me sitting scanning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check in with you every 50 sheep. So there's about 200 here. I'll check in every 50 sheep and let you know how it's going. That's a three. Number eight is a three. The comeback's on. See you when we hit 50.
Okay, so we have 50 sheep in and we're sitting at 180%. I'll show you the screen just now. We've already had two empty, which is twice as many as last year. It's not amazing. I did say at the start, you're usually looking about 180% to 200 for mule use. We're at the bottom end of that just now. Still plenty of time to claw it back. Obviously had a bad start with seven singles in a row. Not a bad start, but bad when you're looking at those percentages. Let's jump on to the next 50, see how we go. So that is the first 100 done, as you can see here on the screen. And we're at 192%. It's looking okay, no more empties in that last 50 batch. A couple of triplets pulling it back up, so we're slightly ahead of last year, although we'll see how many empty we finish up and we'll work out if we really are better off. Let's do the next 50. Okay, so we have 150 done and we are sitting at 193%. It's creeped up 1% since the last update. I was showing you the screen just now. As you can see, we have three empty at the moment, 21 singles, 109 twins, and nine, sorry, 17 triplets. See how it ends up, 50 more to go. Okay, so finished, 202 sheep scanned, and here's the results on the screen. Three empty, 29 singles, 149 twins, which I think is exactly the same as last year, I could be wrong, and 21 triplets. That gave me a total of 202, as I said, with 193%. Now, the question for you guys watching, and you might need to get the calculator out for this one, I'll work it out as well, but I'm asking you guys to tell me in the comments, what's better to have 190% scanning with one empty, or 193% scanning with three empty? What's a better result? I Personally, I'm not sure. I would probably rather have the 190% Mm, thinking quick maths in my head, I'm probably better off with this than last year's result, so I'm slightly better, but very marginal. Let me know what you think in the comments. We're going to put the sheet back to the field now. That's the end of this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.